the generic geriatric cyclist. Episode 21, in which the generic geriatric cyclist rides over a wide body of water. This is the old Tappan Zee Bridge. It was completed in 1955 with a designed lifespan of 50 years. It was well past its time when it was demolished and replaced by a new bridge a few years ago. I drove over the old bridge twice every workday for 13 years. I have zero nostalgic feelings for it. It was jammed with traffic and lanes were constantly closed for repairs. Here's the new bridge, which is a whole lot wider, sturdier, and much more photogenic. The bridge's official name commemorates former New York Governor Mario Cuomo. In June 2020, the bicycle pedestrian path on the northern span of the bridge opened. This path measures 3.6 miles in length. Today is my first time crossing the bridge on the bike path. Let's see what happens. I'm finally here. My phone app had me driving around in circles for a while, but here's the landing for my side of the river. Here's the Rockland Welcome Center on the west side of the river in South Nyack. It has snacks, information, and most importantly, restrooms. Don't be alarmed by the big rusty metal wedge. It's art. There are artworks at various points along the route. The walkway bikeway route is right along the New York State Thruway. This is the tail end of morning rush hour, but as you might expect, it's almost always busy. And we're off. We're riding along the north side of the thruway now, but it won't be long before we're on the bridge. As you can see, this is a dull, hazy, humid morning with flat light and muted color. For the history buffs among us, the Tappan Zee was named by 17th century Dutch settlers. It is the second widest portion of the Hudson River. The Tappan were a Lenape people who inhabited the region of the Hudson Palisades and the New York, New Jersey Highlands at the time of European colonization in the 17th century. Z is Dutch for sea. From the beginning of the bridge to the towers, there's a constant incline of about 1%. It gives the legs a little more work than I'd anticipated. We're at mid-span now, and here's the photogenic center section. I don't have the angle, the equipment, or more importantly, the technical expertise to produce a stunning view. From here, we have a slight downhill to the Tarrytown side of the river. I'm glad for it because today's hazy sun is unrelenting and the breeze will help cool me off. We're here, Westchester Landing. They have the same facilities as the Rockland Landing, tourist information, snacks, and bathrooms. They also have artworks. Here's one. We are on our way back to my side of the river now. Once we pass the superstructure, I can rest going down the slight grade to the western shore. There are six rest stops along the way, each with a different design. I found them all to be sort of interesting from a design perspective, and the views are, of course, stunning. There's an unwritten law that you have to take a picture of your bike leaning against something, and I don't want to break any laws, so here it is. As we come off the bridge on the return, this is my favorite artwork along the route. We're back at Rockland Landing, the end of the line, 
and to the end of the episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you next time.